I want to tell you about Joseph Zarelli. He was, when he was four years old, he was found in a box um, in the woods. And for 65 years, he was known as America's unknown child because nobody knew who he was. They were never able to identify um, his body or, you know, they couldn't track the box. He was wrapped in a blanket. They couldn't track that down either. So for a long time, nobody knew who he was until 2019 when they did a DNA test and through the genealogy, they were, they were able to find a cousin. Um, so when you guys do those 23andMe and um, Ancestry and all those DNA tests, it helps to sometimes not only to identify criminals, but sometimes to identify unknown, um, like Jane Doe's. So yeah, they were able to um, find a cousin and then through that cousin, they were able to find out more information and they found the parents. Um, so they were able to finally give him his name back. So yeah, like if you ever do those DNA tests, you should upload them. I think it's called GED Match, G-E-D Match, I think. Um, you can just give permission to share. When you do those DNA tests, it asks if you want to give permission to share to other um, like databases and you should say yeah, because when you do that, it allows for um, other people like the police departments and stuff to find these missing people sometimes even criminals so if you have that opportunity I think you should definitely um, do that and yeah Joseph Zarelli he was this this little boy unfortunately he was found beaten and naked um, and uh, and for a long time nobody knew who he was he was found in 1957 and it wasn't until 2019 that they finally were able to give him his name back so yeah that's his story